All right, lesson two is uh, setting your, your primer texture. Uh, before we get uh, building our first brush, we need to have something that we're going to place as a texture on this brush. Uh, think of brushes as the basic building block of any room. Uh, if you look around the room right now, you'll see that there's essentially six walls. Well, six brushes, if you think of uh, this room as, as being like a video game. There's four walls, a ceiling, and a floor. And those create the six brushes of any room. Uh, even in video games that have uh, exterior spaces that occur in the outside. Uh, there's an overarching series of six brushes that make up that exterior space. So the first thing you need to do is to, is to set a, a primer texture. Uh, it's tempting to use uh, any of the number of kind of interesting textures or to create your own kind of custom texture, but I like to think of, uh, of uh, a primer texture as being like a coat of primer on a house. Uh, the primer lets you see where you need to paint. Uh, and if you get in this habit of, of using a, a primer texture, and it doesn't have to be the one that I use, but a primary texture that uh, kind of helps you see where you need to tweak your level and, and kind of where you've missed, it really helps you catch problems. So let's go to the texture browser. If you look uh, in Hammer here on the right side column, you'll see uh, your texture browser. If you hit Browse, you see all the textures that occur in the video game. You see brick walls, and as we scroll down further, you'll see concrete walls. You see uh, windows and windows that have been blown out. And as we go further and further down, you'll start to see uh, other textures that occur in and around the game um, from corrugate, corrug <laughs> corrugated steel. Sorry, that took me a while to get that out. Uh, to uh, kind of... Uh, acoustic tile ceilings. I mean just about any texture or every texture that occurs in the game is available here in the browser. What you need to do now is go down to the bottom of the page and you'll see a filter there. What this will allow you to do in the future if you're looking for a particular texture like a brick wall or a ceiling or groups of textures is you can uh, use the the filter to try to find these things. What we're going to look for is the the texture that I like to use as a primary texture which is the no draw texture. What no draw does is it's uh, first of all very bright and every tile is going to be uh, listed as no draw so it's very obvious where you haven't changed your textures. But also what's really cool about no draw is it doesn't take any memory. Uh, the program doesn't have to load the texture for it to draw it in your map when you compile it. So one of the things you're going to be doing by using no draw is improving your uh, compiling speeds when you start to compile your maps. So I would highly, highly suggest that you use Node Draw. So just double click it and you'll see now it's set as your default texture. Alright, thank you.